Hi everyone, this is Random Design. In this video, I want to show you how I built my MSI Behemoth Battlecruiser. I started off with a 3D model to get a better feeling for the right proportions and measurements. For a better transportation, the entire mod was separated in different parts. I transferred the measurements of the 3D model to sketches, which I made with different scale factors. Afterwards, I cut out all the pieces, large panels for the basic construction and small pieces for the details. I transferred the layout for the openings and grommets to the basic panels of the case. For cutting I first drilled holes and then cut out everything with magic saw. I repeated the step until all holes were cut out. Some fans had to be trimmed with my Dremel before I could attach them perfectly. To connect the individual elements of the case in a detachable way, I built a special construction of two pieces grabbing into each other. I used the same system to attach the wings to the body as well. Next step was the sanding of all pieces to achieve a smooth and even surface. Therefore I used my mouse grinder and belt sander. I did a final sanding for all the parts by hand. Then I started to build up everything. All the wooden parts were first glued and then screwed to hold in place. Smaller gaps were filled with wood filler, sanded down afterwards. I built an extension for the front to break the square appearance. To give each individual part more structure, I made small wooden details and glued them in place. For the wings I created a light system from two small wooden panels. In between I placed a slice of acrylic glass which I cut into a rectangular shape. Then I drilled small inserts for the LEDs. I soldered the LED lights to resistors before attaching cables to them. Then I check whether everything worked correctly. Alongside the battle cruiser, I wanted to apply windows. The frames were made out of wood and the windows were cut from acrylic glass. I sanded them down so they would later on refract the light. I drew a window like pattern on black foil and cut out only several of them. The foil was afterwards directly applied to the acrylic glass windows. I covered the whole inside of the battle cruiser with carbon foil. To start the machine and control the lights, I made a panel from aluminum which was covered in carbon foil as well. As a basic coat I applied spray filler to all parts and sanded them down slightly. To break up the flat surface I cut in a typical spaceship pattern with my Dremel. Then everything was primed with one layer of black dispersion paint. While the paint was drying I continue to work on the electric parts and soldered all LED lights and connected them to the LED controller.
Finally, I started painting the case. I dabbed on silver ink to achieve a weathered and used look. For the highlights I used a lighter silver tone. After the paint job I installed the hardware kindly provided by my sponsors. The heart of the mod is the MSI X99A Godlike Gaming Motherboard. The sleeves in red and black were kindly provided by Gozo Mods. All the components are cooled by a custom-made water cooling, supported by Bits Power and AlphaCool. The SSD and 32GB of memory was sponsored by g -Skill. The mod is powered by an 850W TSU from Silverstone. So, Battlecruiser operational. I hope you enjoyed the video. To see the final result of my Battlecruiser, just click on the video.